Welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own guitar pick. So we'll go ahead and launch the program. We're going to be creating this in millimeters so we'll go to New, New Design and then we're going to come over here, go back to File, we're going to go down to Design Spark Options and we're going to make sure we'll go over to Units and make sure this is in millimeters and it is so we'll go OK. Then we're going to click this eye icon, which is a uh, plan view. Okay, now we're going to minimize. We're going to drag in our reference file. Now, the pick doesn't have to be exactly this shape, but this is a standard uh, guitar shape pick. It's 28 millimeters wide by uh, 32 millimeters tall. So we're going to try to create it as close as possible to this. So. Um, Let's go ahead and um, let's get a line in there. We'll go ahead and click there. Let's come down 32. Okay. Let's blow this up a little bit. So we're going to click on the graphic. We're going to click on the lower right corner. Hold down the shift key. We're going to drag that up a little bit. Control minus to zoom out. Hold down Control key. Okay, let's scale that down a little bit. All right, that's pretty pretty good right there. So we're going to go ahead and draw half of this, and then it's going to get mirrored over. So to do that, we're going to right mouse click on that line that we just created, and we're going to say Set as Mirror. So we'll go Control Plus to zoom in. Now we're going to go ahead and create this this graphic here. Uh, there's a few ways you could do it. We could actually start off with a circle. Um, we could start off with a, you know, kind of a half square and then just kind of round the corner on that. Um, I guess the best way to do it would be just to uh, go ahead and um, put in a rec get our um, ellipse tool. Now we're going to click in the center there. We're going to drag out. Type 32 or type uh, 28. Enter. Now we're going to go ahead and rotate it like this. We'll rotate it about to 18, 19 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select move. We're going to click on that line that we just created. We're going to grab the red and we're going to pull that down right there like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay, now I'm going to do the same over here. We're going to get the rectangle tool. I'm going to go from there, click and drag out about five millimeters, enter. And then I'm going to drag, create this, drag up and create a uh, point with that. We're going to get our move tool. I'm going to click on that circle we just created. And we're going to grab the red and we're going to move it up. Okay, now we have basically two pieces and we're going to kind of uh, tangent arc this to this and then do the same over here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, right mouse click, make sure set as mirrors on. We're going to come over here to um, the tangent arc and then we're going to create a line right there and we're going to come on over to right about there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click off, click on the graphic and hit delete. Um, not crazy about that placement of the line, so a tangent line, so we're going to hit delete. We're going to try that again. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, tangent arc. We're going to come up here higher up. Let's get that tangent arc again. right there. Okay, so what I did is I came up a little higher on the tangent arc and I came down a little bit lower. So we're going to select the click off. I 
Okay, that's going to be our, our basic uh, guitar pick shape. So we're going to go ahead and grab our trim away tool and we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that inner circle there and then get rid of the, uh, the line. Not crazy about that point. It kind of came out janky looking. So we're going to go ahead and control plus to zoom in and then we're going to pan up. I'm going to get rid of this. Get the three point arch. And then we're just going to go from here over to here, and that will be the end of it. Uh, still looks a little janky. Let's undo that. Let's try that one more time. Grab the three point arch. Okay, right there. Okay, so. Still, there's just something not right about that. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to get the tangent arc line, see if that's going to make a difference. We'll go from there over to here. Okay, that seems to, seem to have worked better. So we're going to go ahead and get trim away. Let's trim away that. Trim away that. Yep. That works. Control minus, control minus. Now we're going to go ahead and um, pull. Um, typical uh, guitar picks anywhere from a half a millimeter to a millimeter thick. So we're going to make this one a millimeter thick. So we'll go ahead and click on the graphic or the actual guitar pick. We're going to select pull. We're going to click over here to pull from both sides and then we're just going to put in one, one millimeter. Okay. We'll go ahead and spin that and control plus a couple times to zoom in let's go ahead and grab that pan button control minus now we're going to get the pull tool let's click till everything is selected and then we're going to drag a uh, type in 0.5 for a fillet okay looks good now we're going to spin this around do the same to the the back Click till everything's selected. Type in 0.5 for the fillet. Okay, doesn't look too bad. And now we'll go ahead and go to um, top view. Now at this point, if you wanted to put any kind of graphics here, you could actually put them on here. Um, you can extrude them out or you could cut through, but for the sake of this lesson, uh, this is just basically how to show you how to create a standard, um, a standard guitar pick. So that's going to be the end of today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thanks again for watching.